Hey everybody, I'd like to share how I do the yeast oxygen scavenging method created by our friend Russ over at the Low Oxygen Brewing Forum. First you're going to need some active dry yeast and this Red Star brand is the brand everybody likes to use. You also need some sugar for the yeast to eat as well as a scale that's very accurate. We're going to go through measuring in the first part of the video here and then we'll move on to the application. Okay, now we're out in the garage. I have prepared uh, nine gallons of water ahead of time. So now I'm gonna pour that in my hot liquor tank. Now, this method really allows you to save some time on brew day because you can, as I'm doing right here, prepare the water the night before and let the yeast go at it all night long and then you're ready to brew when you get up the next day. As you can see, you can slosh the water around beforehand because, you know, this is pre-yeast eating away all the oxygen. Okay, so now we're going to plug the HLT in. We're going to bring the yeast up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of stir it up a bit. All right, now I'm just gonna just spread the combination sugar and yeast out. I try to make it uh, so it's kind of evenly dispersed all over the water, but I, I don't know if that really matters in the end. There we go, finally. And uh, I like to stir it in a bit just to make sure it's evenly dispersed and I kind of get it off the surface. So when I put the mash cap on, it's not all stuck to the metal. Now you'll see the water is pretty murky looking, but it has no impact on your mash. Mash comes out crystal clear. There we go, we're going to place the mash cap on just to uh, have a little oxygen barrier. And I'm going to put the main lid on just to keep the heat in. And it'll sit overnight. 